Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's Mel from Melamori Nursery. I am on with sweet little Odessa. And Odessa is the Odessa sculpt from Laura Lee Eagles. She was reborn by Tracy, my good friend, from Tracy's Little Treasures. I will link Tracy's uh, eBay site below. I have purchased, or adopted, I should say, so many beautiful, beautiful sculpts from Tracy. Her work is phenomenal. Um, and everything about Tracy's uh, dolls, everything is perfect. Um, so the other day when I was saying on uh, See Me Sunday, when I was saying that uh, for every reborn I get, I... I was going to take them apart, no questions asked. The only exception will be with Tracy's dolls because she is the one artist I know who not only uses the, the best materials, she puts rings in her 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 joints and her, her limbs and her neck. She uses the, the best quality on open-eyed babies. She uses glass eyes. All the, the quality paints, everything that Tracy uses is of the highest quality standards. And Tracy is a UK artist. She puts a phenomenal box opening together. I cannot speak enough for Tracy at all. And I never ever thought that I would get this little particular type of reborn because of Odessa's expression. And she is a little crying baby. Um, I never ever thought that I would find myself um, drawn to an expression like this. However, I'd seen so many of Odessa sculpts and I really just did not like them. And then Tracy did Odessa. And because I call Odessa the actual sculpt name, when I seen this little girl, when I'd seen how she was painted and how Tracy uh, got her skin and her expression and everything about her to look the way she did, just exactly as if a newborn was starting to cry for, you know, uh, to be nursed or was just fussing in her sleep. Um, I... I was just absolutely smitten with her. So I'm just going to uh, show you a little bit of her. Um, she's she's come out of her, she's got a special little, um, a little special bed. I put my preemies in a special little bed. So Odessa is a preemie size. She's 16 inches long. Well, 17 I think she's 17 inches long she is weighted beautifully at just over four pounds she is so nicely weighted and she is a cuddle baby now on yesterday's video I believe it was Tammy asked me if um Lindia Joy was a preemie and yes uh Lindia Joy is 18 inches so technically she can fit preemie clothes um, but she's also small newborn, so it really depends on the cut and quality of clothes. So I'll give you an example, you know, like if you wash clothes, okay, so this is a brand new preemie sleeper here, okay? Um, it's brand new, still with tags on it, not washed. But then this is also a newborn koala baby. And as you can see, I've washed it, but it is so much smaller now than the preemie Carter's outfit. So it really depends on the clothing that you want to put on your reborns and the fit and uh, the heat setting of both the washer and dryer. So... Clothes can be made to fit a smaller uh, doll simply by just washing them. So I'm going to just dress this little sweetie down. I've got a few little outfits here, a few little onesies. I don't know which one I'm going to put on her. I've got this um, pink and white straight ones with the embroidered flowers, which I thought would be nice. I've got this black polka dotted white onesie. These are all... Uh, 
they're just called onesies, preemies, and they've got the onesies at the bottom. Um, Jay, if you're watching this video and you're wondering, um, I was watching your video the other day and I've forgotten to mention it. You're wondering, um, your little, uh, Cherish, you're wondering, you were wondering where she got that white onesie. I'd actually put on that white onesie. She didn't come home with it in the box opening when I purchased her, uh, but I always put onesies on, on my reborn. So I'd, I'd included that in case you were wondering where you got it. Uh, I know you'd ask the question. I really love the design of this one. I do have this onesie in a number of sizes. This one is uh, zero to three months. This one is preemie. I have newborn in it as well. As you can tell, I just really love um, that particular one. So I am just going to put Odessa in a little... Um, little sleeper today she's been hanging out in this beautiful little outfit with this knitted sweater and I want to talk to you about a few things I am thankful for today um, because it's Tuesday and I'm a week older and I'm kind of strange when it comes to numbers <laughs> I'm a number hound I could actually tell you how many weeks old I am which I'm not going to do but I'm a week older today on Tuesdays and I do count my blessings each and every day. Um, and it's very important to me that I, 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 uh, that I, first of all, stay on track and finish my sentences because I'm like an adult with ADHD and please excuse me, but I do write all night. Um, but it's very important to me that I do count my blessings each and every day. It's so, so easy to get bogged down with all of the um, unnecessary clutter of things that go on in the world that may seem to be, um, too much. And so I try to focus my attention on things that are not that way, but on other things, such as, for example, if I'm in a car heading to an appointment. I have OCD folks and OCD is a mental health condition. I don't uh, go into it all that much because I've learned to manage it over the years. I am so literally OCD folks that my youngest daughter has those initials. Um, <laughs> first, middle and last name OCD. And I didn't even realize I had done that. Uh, <laughs> so we make jokes about it. So that's one way of dealing with it. But my OCD is a selective type of OCD. It's a very specific type of OCD. So uh, what it usually means is if I can't finish a job in a go, I tend to uh, prolong the job because I need to know that I can finish it. I used to be very much of a perfectionist. Uh, I used to be very, very, very competitive. Um, now I compete with myself. Um, I used to uh, really dwell on things to the point where it would just obsess my mind. And I would, uh, not stop literally physically or mentally not stop, um, beating myself up for things that I found less than perfect. And, uh, what I've learned over the years is that, um, it did help me in life. It helped me push myself in life, which was the the real uh, gift of it all. But it also kept people from getting close to me because they felt if I had such high standards for myself that they couldn't possibly fit that bill and they then couldn't be themselves with all their flaws. Fast forward, maybe, I don't know, 15 years, and I have come to a point in my life where I am now completely at the point where I now accept my flaws. I'm, I've always been open about my flaws. I've just made jokes about them. So everybody I knew used to think that I was this huge comedian. But now I talk very seriously about this because I think that our flaws are what makes us unique. 
And I wanted to point out before I go further, these beautiful, beautiful little um, slippers that I, I took off Odessa. Aren't those absolutely gorgeous? I'm going to be starting to crochet again soon because they are, I mean, they can't be too, too hard. And they're definitely crocheted and they just have an applique on them that's sewn on. They can't be hard, but they are so gorgeous. So that's what I mean about simple and it matches the sweater perfectly. See that? So I'm thankful, um, very thankful that, um, and I got help for my OCD folks. Um, I also have PTSD, um, which I have also uh, sought help to help me with. I'm an X-Forces member, so of course we see things in the uh, forces that not everybody wants to see. So I'm thankful that I've come a long way in dealing with um, different triggers uh, because triggers are like seeing life through a certain kind of lens, if you will. And um, when you're triggered, you only see it through the lens of that event. And what I have learned, uh, and yes, through therapy, I've absolutely sought therapy for it. Um, what I have learned through my, my PTSD is that uh, I, I was raised to think that discussing problems and issues were a negative thing. Uh, I lived in a house of secrets. We didn't talk about um, anything other than um, the good aspect of life. We kept all the unhappy memories or the un, un, unhealthy activities under wraps. They were, they were really buried deep. And so um, when you learn to talk about everything, I, I see it as like if you had a garbage can and you have all your problems on a single piece of paper, you write one problem per paper and you scrunch it up, you put it in the garbage can and eventually that garbage can will overflow because you simply just have no room in that garbage can. But what therapy has helped me to do is to take out each piece of paper look at each issue and flatten the paper. It never completely takes away the issue, but it does help me to flatten that piece of paper, understand it more. And then by the time it's put back into the garbage can, there's so much more room at the top for um, life, for living. And so I am very, very grateful for all of that. I share all of this with you because many, many, many of us have mental health issues. I write for mental health and what makes me good at writing for mental health is that I've experienced mental health issues. And I wanted to bring up those two in particular because OCD and PTSD um, plagued me for most of my life. And uh, they can get really, really out of control. And um, I also had anxiety, anxiety that was caused from perfection. And I never had depression at all until after I, um, after I had gone through surgery and lost um, my reproductive system completely. Um, and I was 33 years old and that was, that was quite an event. It, it, it even though I'd already had children, um, that event was traumatic for me. And so, um, to take away my choice, you see, um, and that was traumatic. So why do I share this all with you? Well, because today is Thankful Tuesday. So I am very thankful that I am now in a position where I can sit here on my couch um, and share my experiences with you. 
in the hopes that you feel like you're not alone in whatever you're going through. And also because I can look at this little crying baby now and be okay with her in my collection because um, it would have made me feel very uncomfortable at one point in my life to have a doll such as this. In fact, I never even started collecting dolls until I really started buying, like I bought my granddaughter twins for uh, Christmas and I bought them early in October and that's when I started collecting dolls. When I was a um, little girl, I had one baby alive doll. Um, I've told the story of this already, so many of you know it. I had one baby alive doll, and I had that doll for many, many years until it was ruined by my mom's girlfriend's children. And uh, I never had another doll. I, I mean, that's not true. I had a walking doll, which I could never connect with. Um, and there were Barbies, a couple of Barbies. I mean, we, we didn't have a whole lot of money growing up. Um, but my sisters had Barbies and I would make the furniture for the Barbies. I never actually played with the Barbies. I made the furniture. I made the houses. That was the kind of person I was. Um, so to me, these dolls represent you know, a part of healing in my heart. And, you know, this is part of the tag of why do I have Reborns? And I didn't actually know I was going to do this tag until I began this video and put push play on this recorder. Um, but when I look specifically at Odessa, sometimes each individual doll will bring me to a place in my heart where I can look and see why I actually collect this doll or, or these dolls. Um, and I've spoken before about how the open eye dolls make me feel vice the closed eye dolls. But Odessa is unique because of her crying face and the state that she's in. And most sleeping babies look so peaceful. But Odessa looks very much alive. And I just love this little hat she's got on, which I'm keeping on right now because I just love it. And I, I wonder about her little hair. But there she is there. I'm just going to take it off for a moment. And I'm looking and she's got, hello, I'm new here. And it's 101 Dalmatian. She really could have come on yesterday. Oh, look at her in the camera. Look at her little crying, flailing little body. She's got a little tongue and gums. She is just, look at her. Now this doll is not for everybody. Mind you, not every doll in everybody's collection is for everybody. But when I see Nodessa, for me, I just fell in love with her. I fell in love with the fact that she is not a peaceful, sleeping, creamy. And she is. She's only 17 inches. She's a little tiny baby. And the reason I started the hashtag Reborn Tiny Tuesday is because I have more tiny babies than I do um, toddlers. In fact, I haven't got really any toddlers. I have my seven month June asleep. I was going to bring on Lindy, but Lindy, believe it or not, is 12.8 pounds, and my back is not quite uh, strong enough, if you will, for me to carry him down. So I was going to change her little onesie, and I think I will, just so you can see her body construction, um, even though I absolutely love this little 101 Dalmatian. Hello, I'm new here. Um, Tracy makes her babies just gorgeous. Uh, I, I cannot stress that enough, folks. If, if you're looking for a, a reborn, um, I cannot tell you how much I absolutely, you know, certifiably love the reborns that Tracy has let me adopt, literally. Uh, she puts so much love into these gorgeous little dolls. Um, 
and I never ever have to worry about them. I never have to worry that, you know, there's sand in, in the joints. I never have to worry that there's no rings in the, um, in the, I mean, there's rings in all of, all of the joints, unless the, I mean, Bountiful Baby only sells rings to a certain size, but definitely the legs have rings in this one. And I believe, yeah, her arms have rings in them too. So there's Odessa in her little birthday suit. She's got a rather big diaper on. I don't have any preemie diapers. I do have a lot of newborn diapers. I did actually go out and buy a pack of diapers. So that brings me to the next part of um, what I'm thankful for. I am thankful, so thankful that I'm going to have to bring this over her head too. So thankful for all of you. Um, if you aren't aware, I am doing a giveaway. The giveaway does not include the doll or the stuffies, okay? However, I do have a couple of my Reborns that um, are in my collection. Um, some of them are just dolls without COAs. Okay, little girl, your hand is really big. Just one second, folks. I really need to be careful here. Okay. Um, I have an Instagram account. I will link below, hopefully, if I remember how to do that correctly. Um, and... I'm not saying that I'm guaranteeing anything, okay? But here's what I'm going to do. Um, I know many, many people cannot afford dolls. I know this. I mean, I, I definitely, I don't know, do I put this one on her? I really want to put the pink hat back on her, so I want to make sure. I don't know. I put the lamby one on her. She looks so cute, doesn't she? I think I want to put the lamby one on her. Um, but it's not just a couple of dolls that I have. So, and I'm not looking for sob stories, folks. I'm not looking for, I can't because of this or that or the other. What I'm looking for is if you... Go over to my Instagram and you direct message me your email address or your, your mailing address. Then I will send you some friend mail, maybe. Okay, so I'm not saying uh, I will, but I'm saying that once a month I'm going to choose a random person to send friend mail to. And in that friend mail, the disclaimer to the friend mail that I send is that a gift is a gift is a gift. So what do I mean by that? I mean by that, that I might send you any number of things. They might be gently used clothing. They might be, uh, it might be a reborn doll that I don't have a COA for, that I don't want in my collection and that I don't feel like selling. I just feel like passing along. Um, it might just be a basket of goodies of unknown whatever, just friend mail, you know? Um, friend mail is simply a gift from the heart. That is the definition of friend mail, folks, okay? Um, it may be one thing, it may be another thing. There's no monetary value on it. Uh, I don't... I don't want anybody who chooses to participate in this to compare dollar amount with love because I do not. I do not compare one gift to another based on a dollar amount. So if you were to meet a individual who gave you a dollar, would you think that that 
was a poor choice of a gift, you might. Okay, if you had precon preconceived ideas of that individual. But what if that person that gave you the dollar only had a dollar and a quarter to their name? Would you then judge the individual giving you that dollar as somebody who didn't think very much of you? Um, that is really what I mean. So on my Instagram, if you direct message me and and uh, I may take like this week is, is a, a kind of difficult week for me, but um, I, I swear to you by the weekend, I will be caught up. Um, if you want to participate in this for this next month's mystery friend mail, friend mail giveaway or friend mail, I'm going to call it, or, or, you know, happy mail, because I think it's happy mail. Um, and, and please try to put a positive, like, slant on it, but you don't have to. I mean, I'm not asking you to, but I don't tend to fall for the, um, I have nothing in my life stories. Okay, folks, because we all have something to be thankful for even if it's just looking outside at the gorgeous, gorgeous display of beauty that exists around us every single day. And it does. You just have to find it. You just have to be willing to look for it. I live in chronic pain, folks. 70 plus uh, percentage of my body has osteoarthritis in it at stage three. Um, from a fall that I took over nine meters in a, a ship that was moving at sea state five, which means that I could walk on the bulkheads. When I took my fall, I declined surgery because I didn't want to lie on my back in a diaper for nine months while my girls were teenagers. They told me I may never walk again. I used to dance, do gymnastics, horseback riding, all sorts of sports. And I was told I may never, ever walk again. And folks, I do. Now, I'm not saying that you can. Okay, I went through a lot of uh, pain, suffering. I, I woke up every day and just said to myself, I am o I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming this. I have a slight stutter because of it now. I mix my words up. I had to relearn how to uh, get my nerves working properly for me. Um, eventually, I lost my job in the forces because of my inability to do that job, which devastated me. And I literally felt like little Miss Odessa here with her crying little face. But what doesn't break you fully will make you stronger. It gives you that superhuman power to overcome. And so friends and family to me are the glue to that f foundation. And I consider you all my YouTube family, definitely. And so if you want to be part of this month's friend mail choice, then please go over to my Instagram, direct message me something about your life, something about your life that you have overcome, that you are thankful for, and your address. Okay? And I will make the choice at the end of the month, and it will not be announced. It will just simply be a gift. It will come from me. I don't want recognition for it. You don't have to ever do any kind of video, say, if you have a channel. You owe me nothing. If I have something to give and I can give it and it makes somebody else feel, even for a moment, then, like, even for a moment that you are loved, then, then I, I will be the conduit to do that because I've been given 
so much joy in my life, so much. And I would have never known how much joy I had until pieces of the circle that I was before started being removed from that circle and slowed me down so that I could see the world as it is. And that is truly what I am most thankful for, most, most thankful for. So folks, where is your lovey, sweetheart? Where did I put it? There it is. This is my little tiny reborn Odessa, and I just love her to death, folks. But most of all, I love people first, then experiences, and then things. And when I read comments in my commentary box, I definitely am not one to be taking an advantage of. I'm, I'm far smarter than that. Um, I will not send anything to anyone 18 or younger. Like you have to be old or under than 18. Um, but I would like for you, if you want to participate in this month, so between, what is today? I should remember this day. And, and this is what I'm also thankful for. Four years ago today, it is May 10th. Four years ago today, I lost my mother. And I am thankful. Thankful to have had a mother that taught me so many lessons in life. And sometimes they weren't the lessons that she wanted to teach me. They were the complete opposite. But I'm still very thankful. And we all have a choice on how we look at life, how we view our, our script of our life. This is the movie of our life. And Oh my goodness, this video is super long. I hadn't any realization. I am I am very apologetic about how long this video is. But it all came down to Miss Sleeping Odessa here. Sleeping and crying Odessa. But that is it, folks. That is uh my my hashtag uh Tuesday Tiny Reborns and uh Tuesday thanks, thankful, or pardon me, hashtag thankful Tuesday. But it's also for you all from May 10th to June 10th to go over to my Instagram, direct message me with something that you are thankful for in your life, something that you have overcome, overcome in your life, something that you are proud of of yourself, some something with which you are working on or just to say hello um, because it's the community of this platform that I am truly very thankful for each and every one of you and with that folks considering the length of this video I will let you all go and I want you all to remember that you are loved, wanted, and needed. And if you are struggling today, please keep your head up high. Know that things will work out. Please be kind to everybody today, folks. Sorry if I'm losing my voice, it's my bad. And please know that in the end, everything will work out one way or the other. It will. I promise you that. Okay, folks, have a beautiful and blessed Tuesday. I will see you later. Bye for now.